going on, everybody? I am a Champions Digivolved, and I'm back with another episode of the Pokemon Go Nuzlocke. So we got an Eevee here that we're going to go ahead right away catch. Uh, I want to apologize for the audio in the last few episodes that I'm going to be putting out. It's terrible. I'm not going to lie to you. I got recording them, and I didn't realize that you really couldn't hear me very well. <laughs> and yeah, I had already already recorded the whole video and already progressed in all of the games. So I didn't want to lose out and you guys to lose out on seeing what had happened. So bear with those couple episodes. They are they're not the best. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But we are here to take on a gym. I figured we are so close to level 20. So close! Also, by the way, here is my trainer code! Add me, go ahead, add me as a friend, and we will... I'll, you know, send gifts to one another. You know, you can, you can battle me, you can try and wreck my Nuzlocke. That might be fun. Uh, maybe we'll do that in in some future Pokemon Go videos. Um, but I want to take on this gym. This gym has a Pokemon right here, and it's only got one. But this Pokemon is a L T CP of 2100 Rhydon. I am not looking forward to this. By the way, this guy right here, we got him in an egg. We hatched a 2k egg, and out pops a polywag. So that was great. But we really don't have anybody. Hmm. Alright, let's go. We lose somebody, we lose somebody, I guess. You know, we can't sit around waiting and seeing if we can't, you know, playing it safe. We gotta start taking some risks, and this is a big risk. Rhydon is a no-joke Pokemon in the Pokemon Go world. Oh, we were able to knock it out. We knocked it out relatively quickly. Executor is a beast. An absolute beast. He is a champion. Let's go ahead and heal him up. And then let's go again. We got to take it all the way down until its CP reaches zero. That is very, very important, but Executor is an absolute much champion. Wow. All right. I was not expecting this battle to go this way, to be honest. Rhydon is very, very scary in this game. Uh, Rhyperior 2, they have wrecked my day on my other account more times than I care to mention absolutely wrecked my day. However, on my other account, I've got my own set of Rhyperiors and everything else. Uh, that's the Pokemon Go account that I've been playing with since wow, Pokemon Go came out. But we take out the gym. We defeated the gym. Look at that. That is some good, good stuff. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, what's been spawning around a lot more frequently is the Wishmers, uh, Lilips, Anorits, Slowpokes. You know, as you guys can see nearby us, we've got lots of different stuff. Turtwigs, Hopips. We got a Shuckle there. But some exciting news has come to Pokemon Go. So we need to claim our research field research for today but we go down to the news and this just dropped today uh, since we began our journey together over four years ago Pokemon Go has evolved in so many ways from the addition to battles raid battles trainer battles and team go rocket battles to the discovery of over 600 different Pokemon that can be encountered in the game the world of Pokemon Go has continued to change and expand in exciting new ways. 
the week of Monday, November 30th, 2020, Pokemon Go will go beyond. Plus Ultra. I couldn't help it. I, I couldn't resist that. That was perfect. We'll be making big changes to how trainers can level up and implementing seasons, a new way to experience in-game events. Not only that, but Pokemon... Pokemon originally discovered in the Kalos region will be coming to Pokemon Go. That is exciting because Kalos is making its debut. That is awesome. We get free items every day, which is always a nice thing. You always like to see free items. I like free items. They make me happy. But we are looking forward to Kalos because that means that we can get some really awesome Pokemon. However, we need to release this Poliwag before I forget. We need to get rid of them. We also need some names. We need to name Executor, Ex Executor if I can talk, Execute, Electabuzz, and Piplup. So I'm going to name Electivire, what I normally name a lot of my Electivires, which is Laxus. Laxus is the, the the Thunder Dragon Slayer from Fairy Tale. He uses the Thunder type magic. Uh, he's super strong and he's just a beast. He's an absolute beast. If you guys haven't seen Fairy Tale, go check it out. But we also got Executor, who looks like a palm tree with three heads what should we give executor for a nickname hmm this one might go over a lot of people's heads but his faces look like the three stooges now it's a really old show <laughs> my my grandparents used to have me watch it and it was really funny. It's a really, really, really old television show. But Larry, Curly, and Mo. <laughs> they look like the Three Stooges. With those three faces. And now we need a name for our Piplup. Let's see. Piplup is a penguin. He evolves into Empoleon. Water and Steel. Looking like it, he is an emperor. He absolutely is. He is the emperor, penguin, and polion. When he won't, well, if and when we get him to that point, we're not even at the next stage yet, so that's okay. But we got some wonderful wonderful Pokemon that are going to be exceptionally useful in our Nuzlocke. Um, if you guys don't know our Nuzlocke rules, we can only catch one Pokemon per town that we go to. So when we catch that Pokemon, we are able to then catch it anywhere in the world that we travel because we need the candies and everything to level them up and evolve them. So. We have to travel to a new town in order to catch a new Pokemon. Um, I did that in the Electabuzz Community Day Pokemon Go episode. Um, we can also not buy any items. So this series, we can't buy any items. We can't use Pokecoins at all. We're stuck with the items that we get, the Pokemon limit that we have, we are stuck with all of it. We cannot buy anything. We also can't keep egg hatches, mission uh, rewards, Pokemon, or uh, the shadow Pokemon from Fighting Team Go Rocket. So we have to release those. Uh, the only Pokemon that we are able to keep from uh, missions are the um, Mythicals. So. Mew, Meltan, Celebi, Jirachi, those guys. We can't keep anybody else. 
um, unless we already have that Pokemon on our squad. We also have to take on a gym in every single episode. We have to take it down all the way. Now, all the way till all the Pokemon are out and knocked out of the gym. That is the only way that we count that gym battle as an actual win. So, what we did was we took out that Rhyhorn, Rhydon, not Rhyhorn, because he's evolved. We took out that Rhydon till he was knocked out of the gym. And we, we ended up having to battle it three separate times in order to do so. And that's fine. But that's, that is the rules of our Nuzlocke. Uh, in order for us to win the Nuzlocke, we have to um, take on the gyms. When we get to about, you know, a, a 3,000 CP Pokemon, what we're going to do is we're going to start taking a real run at the gyms. What we need to find is a gym that's got six Pokemon in it that are fully healed. We can't, you know, not do that. We can't just be like, well, you know, going to take on a, a half-dead gym and we're going to call it. No, 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 no. We're symbolizing the actual eight gyms that you you run into in the, the Pokemon games. Uh, at the end of those eight gyms, what we then have to do is we have to take a run at four consecutive gyms that have six fully at least almost fully healed Pokemon now we're gonna pick the ones that have the strongest that we can and that is going to symbolize our elite four. Oh wait no I'm con uh, I think I messed those rules up <laughs> I think we decided on four four star raids and then a five star raid. I believe is what we ended up deciding on doing. Um, but either way, let me know down below. Do you guys want to see me do the four gym battles and then a raid as the um, elite uh, champion of the elite four, or do you want me to? Uh, do the four four star raids and then jump into a five star raid in order to symbolize the end of the Nuzlocke. Now, either way, we're probably going to lose. Like, let's be real. That is crazy rules right there. I mean, this is an example right here of one of the raids that we'll probably have to run into. If it's going to load for me, like seriously, there, this is right there, a five star raid. That CP is 39,000 and I can't have any teammates. Nobody can come help me on this. I have to do it on my own. So that is going to be extraordinarily difficult. Um, but... Let me know what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comment section what you feel like is the most uh, reasonable <laughs> ending to a Pokemon Go Nuzlocke. And and we'll go from there. I mean, I like the, the raid idea, but I also like the gym idea. I think they're all really good, really good ideas. But we'll see. You know, let me know. Uh, I do want to thank everybody who's come out and supported my channel. We are at, I believe, 231 subscribers as of today. It, it's a, a blessing that I've I've been able to have, you know, such a such a good support uh, in doing this. You know, I've really enjoyed making these YouTube videos, um, playing playing the content. Uh, the games have been a lot of fun. You know, I've got a lot of stuff in the works. You know, Thanksgiving time, we're looking at Minecraft and Ark with Pokemon and Digimon. Um, 
Christmas time. We got a special, special game that we're going to play. Uh, you guys will see that when it when it drops. But I hope you guys are, go are staying safe, staying healthy, staying happy. But I want you all to go out and be my champions. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you for watching the videos, commenting on them, and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't, go ahead and do that right now. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.